if you live there, visited there, ever been through there, you know the answer to this. But homelessness is a problem that's plagued Daytona Beach now for years. In about 90 minutes, the city commission is getting ready to vote on a plan to help establish a shelter. Channel 9's Mike Springer joins us live from where that meeting will be held. Mike, you, know, you found out not everybody is behind the proposal, though. Well, the item is a bit of a ways down on tonight's agenda. It's all the way on page 11. And while most people here will agree that homelessness is an issue and there needs to be some solution to it, a lot of people say they're not sure whether this shelter is the best solution. Tom Myers says he's had his problems with the homeless over the years outside his frozen yogurt shop on Beach Street. We had to deal with them at night when they had nothing else to do but walk around and, and vandalize and, you know, defecate on your building. Myers says lately an increased police presence on B Street has helped clean up the neighborhood. And tonight city commissioners plan to vote on a proposed agreement with the county to build a shelter out by the jail on Red John Road. The agreement would give the city 2.5 million for construction with an additional 400,000 a year for the next five years to help run the 100 bed shelter. But not everyone is sure it will work. Not so sure they're going to stay out there in those conditions because some of them will tell you they'd rather just be out in the woods than be in a situation where they have rules. And he believes having the police continue to patrol Beach Street is the best solution. None of the city commissioners responded to my email asking for comment on the shelter and tonight's vote. Even if the city commission does approve this proposal here tonight, it still has to be approved by the county council. The earliest that could happen is next week. Reporting live in Daytona Beach, Mike Springer, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.